A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Cooper knows a star who can get his squad bucking offensively. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Anaheim's got possession here in their own end. Well saved made by Gibson. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Dubois won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, and that's over the net. Uh, looks like he bared down on his bottom hand and just sent that one over the top bar. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Good hit to knock the puck loose. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, as he locked in on that as he stops the one-timer. Calgary's got the puck inside the offensive zone. The Ducks take it along the wing. Gaining steam here on the attack. Sends the puck across. And that's turned aside by Markstrom. Taken by Peugeot. Gaining momentum up along the side. Anaheim's got the puck. Fowler's got the puck in his own zone. The Flames gain control of it. And now it's to Pajo. And it's a quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Slides the puck over. Nelson's got it in the offensive zone. Shot! the outside of the frame. So frustrating when you don't get the bounces and you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, you get the opening goal. The momentum's all in your favor. Looks like we get a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Here comes the official's call. The Flames are getting two minutes for tripping. And their first chance to use the man advantage. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetition. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. And he slides it quickly to Nemestikov. Takes the feed. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Drysdale. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Takes the feed. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The Ducks are on the attack. Here's a chance in front. And a new pass. physical they got the first one here that's a good way to start Anaheim's on the board the crowd's loving it I even think the coach is smiling on the bench too that's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often James but one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you are ready right from puck drop not from just a physical standpoint but from an emotional side too the Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Flames move it ahead. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Oh, just got a piece of that one with the glove to keep it out. Gibson's in the right spot at the right time. Just a brilliant save. Palat's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Calgary's have put up a lot of shots so far here in the first, but they still haven't found any finish or any solid results yet. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it.
Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And after the draw center, they've got a hold of the puck. Phillips has the puck against the half wall. Slides it over to Jones. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it to Silverberg. Tremendous save by Markstrom. Silverberg's back in the lineup after rehabbing his injury, and he's quick to create some offense there with that nice dangerous shot. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Flames have it against the wall. Poked away in the offensive zone by Nelson. Sends it down low. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Now he takes it over the line. And he's ridden off the puck. The Flames gain control of the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Shot! Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Gibson. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Nelson. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Drysdale's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. And it's kicked away. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And the puck skips away after a nice defensive deflection. And that goes off a player in front. Let's see what the officials say. Well, you gotta toe the line. You can play with an edge, but you certainly can't play frustrated and take penalties consistently. That's the second of the period. In a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Taken along the wall by Tanev. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Calvary's looking to break out. Quick feed to Tanev. With some open space at center. Whistle blows, stopping the play. When your opponent doesn't have the puck, you can't interfere with their forward progress too much. You can cheat a little bit, James, but that's over the top. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Dubois. And now he moves it quickly to Suter. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he slides it quickly to Lindholm. Calvary's got the puck along the boards. The Flames are in transition. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. And that's poked away. And that one's turned aside. Penalty expires, and they'll go to work with a man advantage. Not much, but it's still a power play. The Ducks have gone up by one here in the opening frame. How does this now change the complexion of this one? Well, uh, I think it's really important because they got momentum right now. More jump to their step, and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead, take the momentum, and use it to their advantage. Fires it on net. Just slide to the net. Calgary's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. I didn't like anything about that power play, James, and I'll tell you who else didn't. The coach and the rest of the team, you can't give up a shorty when you got a man advantage. And he denied that opportunity. Gains the zone from the right. Centering feed! Yeah. 
The Flames are still trailing here in this first period despite the opportunities they've had. McTavish has won a big draw on their own end. Anaheim's in transition. Moore's got it against the boards. The Flames look to start the transition game. to make a play what a beautiful save let's have a look at that last save again it was absolutely incredible you're under pressure you're under attack really under siege and you find a way to get to the puck this is the stuff that champions are made of past the halfway mark of this period the ducks lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far off the face off they take the puck from the back of the cage with the puck Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Gibson's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Calgary's going to play it from the corner. Scrum ensues along the boards. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Manson's got the puck now at his own end. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. The Ducks have it now. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Blocked in front. Scooped up along the wall by Pareko. Handles the pass at center. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. And some good footwork to kick it away. Moves it quickly over to Barbashev. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. On the do again. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Calgary's generated a lot of scoring chances here in the first, but they still find themselves trailing late. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here's the official call. A tight game at the end of the period, and you take a penalty. The PKers have to come up huge and get you to the intermission. Puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Natasha has been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Poked away by Backlund. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Now a quick pass to Moore.
Bears have had their opportunities, but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages of the opening period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it to Fowler. Good hit to poke him off the puck. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone-crushing hits. through the first 20 minutes played. Gibson's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. This team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Can't keep a hold of it. Quick feed to Lindholm. Here's a pass in front. He scores! That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Flames have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. And it's a quick pass to McTavish. To the front! Oh my goodness, it's Tina! What a save! It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Calgary's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Tosses it on to Nelson. Here they come on the attack. Calgary's playing it from the side. Quick pass to Nelson. Oh, how do you miss from there? Well, this is a tough miss, James. I think he might have rushed it or even panicked a little bit. Typically, he's going to put this shot on target, but instead, he misses. And that turns off a stick. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Scrum along the wall. Mackey's taking it from his own end. Tries to get it to Nelson. And the play continues. Here's the chance. And there's the save. Fowler's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Jones. Directed over to Nelson. Here they come on the attack. Lundestrup's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. The Ducks once again send out their power play unit. But so much about power play execution, what we're seeing tonight with their success is about working on it in practice, repetition, success, and it has certainly translated to the game tonight. Nowhere for that shot to go through. They fight for it along the boards. Great pressure to force the turnover. Calgary's got possession while undermanned. Gets the puck in deep. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Moving into the attacking zone. Moves it quickly over to Terry. And that caroms off a of body in the lane. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Backlund sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Flick feed. Zegras roll on the power play to shoot the puck. He did it earlier and he scored and will be looking to get to those shooting lanes again. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. 
Mikola's going to play it against the half wall. And that's knocked away by Nemestikov. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Calgary's across the blue line. Moves it to Nemestikov. Blocked in traffic. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Quick feed to Drysdale. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Calgary is going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Nelson standing up right now. Extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. Handles a puck from the left side. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. The Flames carry it along the wall. Lindholm's lugging the puck. Slides it diagonally to Drysdale. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Here's the pass down low. Sends the pass over. Takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a whistle here. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Anaheim's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Fowler's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the call. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. The power play unit goes right back to work. When a power play is executing and it feels right, everyone is clicking. The chemistry just looks like it's synergized. And this team, they're on fire right now. Slides the puck ahead to Phillips. Good use of the body on the play. And that pass attempt is deflected. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Looks to pass it to Lundstrom. Strong defensive effort. And he takes the pass. On the attack along the boards. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. When you think about the PK, you can say power kill because of him. He had that earlier shorthanded goal. But now his team's got to play without him and try and kill the penalty off. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. A few ways to play a four-on-four. -four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent, too. Gibson's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. The Flames have been the busier team offensively with plenty of scoring chances. Just no finish, and they trail here in period two. Puck picked up by Lacombe. Into the offensive end now. Solid body contact. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. The goaltenders at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Fantastic save! And he slides it quickly to Mayo. Puck scooped up by Terry. The Flames penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Puck grabbed by Terry. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he makes the save on that play. Huge stop for the one-timer. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Asplund's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. McTavish is almost back on the ice. 
trying to exit the defensive zone. The Flames run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Taken by Dubois. Now over to Barbashev. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Still keeps a hold of the puck. The Ducks gain possession. And he takes the feed. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Great reach with the poke check. Van Riemsdyk's got the puck in his own zone. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Shot! Sails over the net. Quick pass to Pajo. Quick shot! here power play unit going back to work power play chance right here and an opportunity to redeem themselves after that shorty they gave up earlier back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone fires it that's off a stick Tries to feed it over to Phillips. Bats it out of midair using great hand-eye coordination. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Grabbed in the open ice by Silverberg. Takes the feed from the left side. Quick pass across to Phillips. Big hit and that frees up possession. Knocked away with the stick by Manson. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Breaks up the play with a poke check. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Asplund's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And they win the draw on their own end. Pareko stick handling in his own zone. Dubois across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Here's a shot. Great reflexes as he comes up with the pad save. Gibson's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their net minder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Dubois got the puck. Moves it to the middle. I just love this power play, James. It's not just about skill, but you have to have the work ethic to be able to retrieve the puck as well. you got to be harder on it than your opponent, and they get the PK running around. Absolute mayhem, and then eventually it goes in. Calgary suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of runway to go. With possession along the wall. Puts it on net. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Terry. Poked away in the neutral zone by Suter. Feeds it on over to Pareko. Seri's moving the puck through his own zone. Up along the wing. Throws it in. The Ducks have it against the wall. Slides it up to Moore. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Oh, he got puddled by Markstrom. And he hangs on to the puck. From Clark Oh, what a stick save. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low spot and makes the save. Here in the late going of the frame, the Flames have answered back in these last few minutes but still need one more to even the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Stones him in front. Here's a centering pass. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. The Ducks take it along the wall. 
looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a short pass to Moore. Monster saved by Markstrom. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. The Flames continue to trail here late in the second despite having more chances here tonight. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Phillips carries the puck in his own zone. He says, let's get physical on that play. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Calgary's got possession of the puck. Angles it over to Barbashev. Handles the pass. Barbashev's able to corral that. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Well, they get the equalizer, James, and really they've been rewarded for their efforts. They got down in this game, but they continue to chip away press, and now they find themselves at evens. Calgary's push in the offensive end gets them the equalizer they needed. Yeah, and with impeccable timing, too, James. Yeah, the end of the period, you always know you want to maintain your composure, but you also want to create a ton of energy. You don't want to be scored on, but you certainly want to score a goal. They did just that. They got themselves back at evens in this game. The Flames have it now. Moves it quickly over to Mayo. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Late in the period, in a close game, a tough penalty to take, James. But if they can just kill it off and get to the intermission, they can reset to start the next period. The Ducks and their men advantage unit out once more. When the power play is operating like this and so successful, yeah, you can pad your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Feeds the puck up to Rust. Picked off in the offensive end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Turns that one away. Terry's really impressed me with that last play, James. I mean, to have the wherewithal to hold on to that puck, I mean, that's tenacity on your way down, falling to the ice and still get the shot off. That's leadership at its best. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. And that's a smart heads-up play by Suter. Connects with a long lead pass here in the middle. Broken up by McTavish. There's the buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number, and we've got period number three next. Everyone, both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. The Flames start with possession here as they open up shorthanded. Play rolls on. The Flames have it behind the net. And he takes the feed. Turns it away. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Quick feed to Terry. The Flames gain control of the puck. Here's a feed in front, and that chance is blocked. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. In the game of hockey, you can't worry about what happened on your last PK. You gotta get out there and you gotta find a way to do it. Otherwise, the coach is gonna put another unit out there. Huberdeau's had such an impressive night offensively. You know that's his wheelhouse as he loves to have the puck on his stick. He creates, he's confident with it, and he's got a multi-point game. Fires it! Tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Uh, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. 
Calvary's got possession here in their own end. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. And he keeps that one out as he gets a piece of the club. Denies it again. What a stop. Just a smothering attack here in the offensive end. And listen to this place light up. Face off coming up. And Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatiguing. Just look at the last shift. And in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out. And, of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender side, you got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give him some rest. And now he tries to get it across to Jones. The Ducks play it along the wing. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Van Riemsdyk. Dumps it into the Ozone. Anaheim's got the puck. Slides the puck up from the left side. The Ducks take it along the wall. Quick pass to Silverberg. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been moving on the front of the defense. An upward trajectory as the game progresses and they find the back of the net. Well, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. Anaheim's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. you got to be aggressive when you've got the moment and take advantage of it. Steps across the blue line, and they'll dump it in. And somehow he hangs on. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to McTavish. The Ducks played along the boards. Takes a shot. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Knocked away. And he slides it quickly to Hutton. Here he is in front. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. They are really pouring on the pressure here. The Ducks have it now. Here's a short pass to Manson. Poked away at center by Mackey. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Loose puck battle along the boards. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. The Flames set it up behind the net. Here's a chance. Oh, just wide! Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Calvary's regained possession of the puck. Came up with the save on that play. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Can't save. He's out of tight. Markstrom's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. And now it's grabbed by Pilat. Here's a pass in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Ducks are holding on to a one-goal lead. It's 5-4. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Calgary's looking to break out. Now a quick pass to Huberto. The Ducks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And it's a quick pass to Fowler. Slides it on over to Manson. Moves it to Terry. Shot! Shuts him down! Feeds the puck over. Trying to shake the defender. He's clear! Right back check on the play. Gains the zone. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy.
happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Shooting through traffic is an art, James. Not everyone can do it. You gotta find a way to get the puck through. And when you have players that have the IQ and the shot, this is exactly what you do on your power play. You get it up high, and then you shoot the puck. But you need net front presence. You need hard, physical bodies in front to be able to collect the rebound and bury it. The Ducks gain possession of the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Nelson got it across the line. Centering feed! The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Gains the zone through center. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. Calgary's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create teams to get shots on net. Moves it quickly over to Mikulov. The Ducks have the puck now. They clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. And he slides it quickly to Phillips. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Fowler. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. What shot. One times it, and that shot dies in traffic. Quick feed to Phillips. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. All sorts of pressure as they try to clear. And it stays in the zone. Taken down the official's time. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here, as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep parading yourself to the box. The Flames could really open things up with a five-on-three power play. Power play has scored today, but hasn't been excellent. This is where coaches make adjustments, whether you go with PP1 or PP2, or even if you intermix them. Here's a shot! The score! An absolutely critical strike here in the third! Yeah, and really important that they didn't get frustrated. They just trusted the process, and they found themselves getting the equalizer. Now there's a lot of game to be played to try and win it. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. Calgary's thickened the plot here in this third period while tying it up. I always find it so interesting, James, and how the game shifts throughout it, and at the end of the game, finally, there's a sense of urgency, and because of it, they're able to capitalize on the scoring chance. Knocked around, but keeps it going. And sends it just out of reach. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, it's a fail on that clearing attempt as it's kept in. Well, that won't keep you on the PK, that's for sure, James. The coach wants that puck out, and it's on your stick. you got to make sure that it goes 200 feet down the ice. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Scrum along the wall. And the puck's kicked free. Silverberg's got it in the offensive zone. Quick cross ice pass to Pareko. Pass across to Nelson. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Lindholm. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Quick pass to Rust. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Moves the puck to the attacking area. 
And that's knocked away by Lacombe. Here's a chance. Shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Gibson. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Time winding down in this one. While we have a chance, let's go to Carlin Bay standing by ringside. Huberto's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a chance. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Here they come up along the wing. Quick shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. In the final moments of this period, it's all tied up. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. A critical draw here. They win the draw and go on the attack. Here's a short pass to Palat. Looks to set up at the point now. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. But, oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. That's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's in gymnastics at its finest. They are swimming around like bees here in the Ozone. There's a hit on the play. Look at the front. Stop. It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career play. Shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Ducks have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. Calgary's got it in their own zone. The Flames cross the blue line and are on the attack. And he comes up with it. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. Turns another aside. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Works it across to Huberto. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. And it's kicked away. Moves the puck over to Pareko. Calgary's got it across the line. Pass back to the point. 